Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Mo. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Lumetri scopes and curves in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're feeling intimidated by using the Lumetri scopes and the curves inside Adobe Premiere Pro, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you all the way through it and it's much easier than you might think. I don't recommend relying on just your eyes for color correcting your footage. Either your screen might not be calibrated correctly or the light in the room where you edit can really affect the way you see colors. So you'd hate to publish a video and then come back to it later and realize you got it completely wrong. The scopes really help take the guesswork out of your color correction and I'm excited to show you how to do it. Let's dive in. I'm working on a video for a mug cake here. I have a shot of icing being drizzled onto the cake and I want to make sure my exposure and white balance are just right. To do this, I'm going to click on the clip and head over to the color panel. Here you can see we're going to use the Lumetri scopes. If you don't see the Lumetri scopes, you can go up to window and select Lumetri scopes. And we're going to go down to this little gear icon and we're going to start in the waveform Luma. You can go back in and uncheck any other options that are already checked so we can get a good view here. You can see at 100, this represents our whitest whites and at zero, it represents our blackest blacks. So if anything goes beyond those two values, we're going to start to lose some detail in our video. This video has a lot of white in it, but you can see it's not quite, quite reaching white or black. So to fix this, we're going to come over here to the color panel and click on curves. I'm going to start in my white curves here, so make sure you click on the white, and then I'm going to select this dot in the corner, and I'm going to drag it to the left until I get closer to 100. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom and I'm going to drag it to the right to create some blacker blacks. Now we're obviously having some white balance issues here, so I'm going to go into my Parade RGB, which is a name that I love. I feel like it's so fun to look at this parade of colors. If it seems intimidating, don't worry. Basically, we want the red, green, and blue to match. This is what's going to create a white balance. Once they're balanced out, our white balance will be correct. So to do this, we're going to come back to our curves. I'm going to start with the red, since that's way up there, and I'm going to drag those highlights down. I'm also going to bring my darks down. And let's head over to the blue and bring our highlights up by dragging to the left. And our shadows look pretty good there. We might want to bring our green blacks down just a hair. And that looks fairly balanced to me. You do want to double check with your eyes just to make sure it's not doing anything strange over here. But as long as you have these fairly balanced out, it should be close to right. One last thing we can check here is back in this little gear icon, and we can check our vector scope YUV. I'll turn off the parade to make sure we can get a good view here, and this basically represents the colors in our video. The white line here is the broadcast safe area, and you can see we're well in between that. If I wanted to adjust these, I could come down here to Hue versus Sat, use the eyedropper tool and select a color that I wanted to adjust and then just bring it down if I needed to bring it within the color safe area. Let's look at one more example here just to get an idea. You can see this one is starting out in the color safe area, but the contrast is very low and I'm not sure the white balance is just right. So let's check. You can see this is very compressed. So we will again pull up our whites and pull down our blacks. 
Let's also check our parade RGB for white balance. And now let's go back and check our vector scope. Here you can see we've gotten outside of the broadcast safe area, so I'm going to go into those curves under hue versus sat, and since this looks like it's lying between the yellow and the red, it's probably this yellow-orange bright margarita I have. So I'm going to just click in there and pull them down just a bit. You can add more spots by simply clicking. And you can see if I don't add more dots it will bring the whole line down. And if it starts to look a little flat after that we can go in and add a little more contrast or pull our blacks down a bit. That's it. I really hope you're feeling less intimidated by using the Lumetri scopes and the curves within Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments or head over to our Facebook group, which I have linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you hit subscribe and join our community here on YouTube. Otherwise, I am here every Tuesday with a new tip. Thanks again so much for being here. I'll see you next time.